Okay, so the clip that you're about to watch is a discussion with a first year class. So this is 1.8, and we were discussing in the lesson um, what is thinking. So I'm trying to try and trying to gauge for different year groups and different groups of students what their understanding of thinking is at the moment so that we can start to sort of introduce different thinking routines and see if there is a change there. So this conversation, this this class discussion was me trying to not give too much away, not sort of steer them too much, although as you'll see in a minute I'm, I have done that inadvertently and on a couple of occasions, to, to, to see and explore what their current level of understanding was. Completely forgotten what class they are. Yeah, no, but my mind's gone black. I've completely forgotten what class you are. One point. Okay, so we've got one point eight. We're having a bit of dialogue about what they think thinking is. So we're having a bit of class discussion. I'm going to start with who's going to start us off. Come on. What's thinking? Using your brain. Go on, Kai. Yes, good lad. Uh, thinking is when you use your brain to imagine a situation. As in a topic, school, or a test, or a subject. Okay, alright, that was a quite a lot there. Can you just, oh. written use of brain, what, what else have we got there, sorry? Uh, use of brain uh, on a situation. Okay, alright, so there would be a situation, situation, something that would maybe stimulate, to stimulate you to think about something. So a situation or a, or a stimulus. Okay, alright, that's a good starter, stimulus. Right, what else have we got? Yes. Thinking is when your mind is processing what you say or an idea or anything that you got up. Uh, okay, so we've got processing there. Processing. All right, good. Thank you, Kayla. What kind of types of processing can you think of then? Or can you give an, an example of how you might process something? Like a test or something? Test. Okay. E.g. a test. Okay. All right. Um, try, or maybe come back to you. Try and be as specific as you can. So, what's a what's a stimulus that think that encourages you to to process something? Yeah. Noah, what were you going to say? Oh, processing could be like if someone died or something. Ooh, good. Oh, good. Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay. So, processing. If you're processing something, it could be it could be that you're processing a a change. E.g. E.g. the death of the death of someone. Hang on, hang on, too many, too many, too many, too many. I'll come to you, I will come to you, absolutely. Thank you. Right, okay, that's a really interesting one, Noah. So processing processing death and the different stages of grief is, it takes you through a lot of kind of very complicated thought processes. Shush, shush. Thank you. Um, so that was a really interesting one there, Noah. Um, right, was there someone else before we move on to this side of the room? No, we're going to move. Is that a hand up or are just poking yourself in the eye? Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to go sort of across this way then. So, Kai? Uh, another one for change is like when you're like food out and uh, like, like kind of decomposes. Uh, yes, okay. We're thinking, we're thinking about thinking. We're thinking about thinking right now. So, what is. If you're starting, if you're starting with the process of food decomposing, what, how does that relate back to thinking? <laughs> it is change. That is true. Faye? Thinking is when you use your brain to focus on something that's going to happen or what has already happened. Uh, okay, alright, that's quite interesting. So, so, thinking about if it's something that's going to happen or has already happened, you could be thinking about past or present. Yeah. Okay, all right, quite like that. What about, okay, go on, Kayla. Uh, it was a memory one, it's a short term and long term. Oh, okay, all right, great, there we go. So, memory. So, short term and long term. Okay, all right, good. What do you know about short term and long term memory then? Like a good memory, and you can remember things. Stop whistling. And short term, then like it kind of goes really quicker. Uh, okay. So yeah, so long term would be longer lasting. Short term wouldn't necessarily stay with you. You can have long. You might have experienced this. We've got long term memories from when you were a really, really, really young child. You might not necessarily have many, but there might be some certain memories that you can just picture when you were when you were really young. 
Um, how does stuff go from your short-term memory into your long-term memory then? And why might that be useful? Thinking. Yeah, so what sort of what sort of thinking processes might be happening when stuff's going from your short term to your long term memory? Um, okay, all right, yeah, okay. So picturing or picturing or visualizing, picturing or visualizing. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, anything anything else? What about, what about understanding? What's understanding? How do you know if you've understood something? Alfie? Uh, understanding. I know this is slightly different now, but what? how do you know if you've understood something? Uh, if you know what you're doing, like, say, you didn't know how to do four times four. Yeah. You, you know what four times four was if you've done it and got the, the right answer. Oh, so how do you know you've got the right answer? You understand it. But how, how do you know? How do you, how, how do you kind of check yourself that you've... You've got the right answer to something. Right, right. Ask my teacher. Okay, all right, so we could have getting the right answer, asking a teacher, uh, how else? How else do you know if you've under, how else do you know if you've understood something, Alexander? Like the uh, if you do an answer, it'd be, it'd be stuck in your like head, I guess, in your memory. Uh, okay, able to able to memorize. Good. Yeah. So if you can recall it a week from now, that you know that you've successfully memorized that. If you can recall it a month or a year from now, that little nugget of information, whatever it happens to be, then yeah, so it's definitely passed by that point. It's definitely passed into your long-term memory. So I'm hoping that it's going to stick with you for, for, the, for a while. Go on, Kayla. Ooh, this is good. Right, go on. So what do you mean? Okay, so having a follow-up question. Okay, that's good. So if you if you're able to ask questions about something, it shows that you have a, a reasonable level of understanding about it. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Follow up questions. That is really good. I love that. Right. Go on, Faye. I feel like you have to process. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the start of that. I feel like you have to process okay. You you process it. You process information quicker if you have a good understanding of something. Is that what you mean? Okay. So processing. Uh, Processing stuff is maybe if you're more familiar with the topic, is that kind of if you're talking about something that you know a bit about already, maybe you can process new information quicker. All right, so we could say familiarity, familiarity with something. The more you touch on a particular bit of information, the more able you are to maybe understand it and memorize it. That's interesting. Um, anything else? Sofian, you've been a little bit quiet. Is there anything you want to say? No. Okay. Anybody else? Riley? No. Yeah. What do you think of as thinking? What's thinking, Riley? What do you think it is? Thinking. Yeah. Uh, David? What? What's thinking? When you use your brain to think of something. Understanding. <laughs> yeah. When you use your brain to think of something, yeah. Okay. Alexandre? In memory, I was thinking like uh, something more important, you remember that way more than, like, as in, you, like you said, in childhood. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Right. So you mean if you, your brain is prioritizing yeah. which bits of information are important and they should remember and which bits are maybe less important. That's interesting. So if, right, so, so if memory, you're, you're automatically or subconsciously prioritizing, prioritizing... Bits of information. How did your brain do that? How do you decide which bits are important and which bits are not important? Like, what's more important? Family or uh, or a note from your mom saying to close the fridge? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I see. I see that. Um, what about what about if you're prioritizing? Shush. I'll come to you in a second, Riley. That's a really good one. Um, so you're prioritizing between you're prioritizing between. Different, different things then. So your brain is your brain, your brain is able to do that, decide which are the important bits, which are the less important bits. Okay, right. Riley, go on. What did you say there? I don't know how to explain it, but imagination. Imagination. The thinking and imagination and creativity. That's fantastic. Yeah, okay. So let's find some space for this. Let's bring this down here. What's what's imagination, Riley? Well, um, I think, well, it's like when you go Or someone help him out if he's struggling. What's imagination? Sofian. Imagine something. Yeah? All right. Well, what does that mean? 
Caroline? When you think of something that is something that's not realistic and something that is. Uh, Fiction. Realistic. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, Faye? Yeah, okay, so maybe sort of projecting that that hypothetical, this might happen, it might not happen. Okay, Alfie? Yeah, picture it. Yes, okay, so it's linked back to visualising. Visualising. Alfie, do you think that visualising things is a really important part of thinking? Yeah. Right, why is that? It just helps. Okay, so does that make, do you think everybody's like that? No. Do you think that's maybe one of the things that, that people do things in slightly different ways then? Yeah. Okay, all right, visualising, maybe not the same for everybody, but certainly yeah. certainly important for you. Um, Alfie's raised a good point in terms of he thinks that he works quite well as being quite a visual person. How well do you think you know yourselves in terms of, in terms of the ways that you learn? So do you think, yeah, I've got a really good understanding of what, I'm, what, what my strengths and weaknesses are? How well do you think you know yourselves? Quite well. Quite well. Very well. Okay. Right. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Is there anything else in terms that we can add to that board in terms of what we think thinking is? Um, Noah, just fi final sort of wrap it up. In the imagination one, sometimes you can imagine different Shush. scenarios. Like, let's say you're in a bad scenario and you can just think of something better. All right, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write dreaming down. I don't know if that's exactly what you were describing, but that sounds dreaming. So, imagining things and maybe maybe sort of wishing things to be in a different situation or wishing things were, were you know, sort of dreaming of other possibilities. All right, anyone else in terms of final comments? We just we'll stop that there and I'll answer that phone. Anything else? Excellent. All right, we'll stop that. There.